I just wanted to get in front of the camera real quick to react to what, what just happened on, on Tuesday night with William Defoe. If you didn't see it, he put up five points. A 5.9 for Williams is full with the St. John Sea Dog, extending his point streak to a ridiculous number. So let's talk about that and react to it real quick. Okay, we have to react to what's going on with Williams is full right now. He has five points or put up five points against the Dracal for St. John. He has two goals, three assists in a single game. The two goals, both of them pretty damn nice. First one gets up and on four check, creates turnover, takes the puck into the slot, fires it in. Beauty. Next one, puck is cycled around. He tries to get it off the boards, works its way to his defenseman who shoots it kind of wide. But instead of just giving up on the play and watching what the defenseman does, he gets up on in it. He's the first one on that puck, but when it comes careening off the boards, has the presence of mind to grab it, wrap around, in, goal. Yep, but I... He's got two goals on the game, and then he adds three assists on top of it. Five points in a single game for Williams is full, who's now up to 55 points in 31 games. But that's not the best part. The best part is that it's a 19-game goal streak for him. Sorry, 19-game point streak for him. He's also got a goal streak. We'll get to that in a second. 19-game point streak for Williams is full, who has 37 points in those 19 games. You average that out, that's 1.947, right? Yes, I had my calculator open here, just want to make sure I saw it. 1.947 points per game. You can round that up to two points per game. He has two points per game on average in this run. That's pff, insane. Absolutely insane stuff from a guy who, remember, is a fifth round pick. He was a fifth round pick. Just ridiculous. I talked about it on Monday, right? I said, William Zafog is going to put up a lot of points. Now that St. John brought in all those good players, he's going to benefit from it. And you could already see that happening, right? In the three games since they've re, uh, returned to action, he now has eight points. Eight points in three games for him. Five of them obviously coming in this one. He now has two games, a two-game multi-goal streak. And the goal streak extends further than that. He has six straight games with a goal. Six. That's tied for second in, in franchise history, right? Second. Top is seven. He's one off from being tied for the franchise history in terms of consecutive games with a goal. Again, just pff, absolutely insane. And the things just keep on going well for William Zafol. Not only is he killing it in terms of production, but if you go to the community section, you'll see I posted a few pictures comparing his stride from before the season and as it is now. And it seems that he's made one hell of a, of a step up in terms of his stride, in terms of his skating. So if he's fixing his skating and it's trending in the right direction, he's putting up these, ton these ridiculous levels of, of production. I just, this doesn't change his ceiling necessarily, these five points. Ceiling is still kind of like bottom sixer at the NHL level. But that's as it stands now. And that's me kind of managing my expectations because what's happening here is he's doing this at the QMJHL level. But if things keep trending in, in the way that they're trending right now, that ceiling might be a little bit higher. I, I just had to get this out because what uh, what we're seeing right now from Williams full is, again, Fifth round pick, putting up 55 points in 31 games on a 19 game point streak and a six game goal streak. Insane. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you.